Sunny Ka. Hi everyone. Welcome to Thai Shepherd Channel. Internationally, this is the one of the most famous and well-known Thai dishes and it is Pad Thai. There are many variations of this dish, such as seafood, prawn, chicken, and today I'm going to show you how to make Pad Thai prawns. And now we let's get started. Homemade pad thai sauce. I will show you the recipe and how to do in next video. Fit salt, dry shims, the big or small size, whatever you can find. Tofu, any kind of tofu you can find. Egg, bean sprouts, wash very clearly. Chive, prawns or shims or chicken any kind of meat you want garlic peanuts fast fried noodle garlic piece of lime and shallots finely dyed to growth of garlic finely slice one shallot And this is the way I ground the peanut today. If your home don't have mortar and pestle or any blender, you can use um, the plastic wrap wrap with the peanuts and then use your knife to crush it. Or any hard thing, you can crush your peanut to make it ground. Very homemade and easy, but this one is work very good. And now we get ground peanuts. Today, I use around 4 or 5 chive. Try to cut into equal steps. You can see how long it is left at turns. This side will be nice for pad thai. It's not too long and not too short for pad thai. And then you will see properly when we fry bean sprouts and tofu. Cut tofu into cube. Tofu night shepherd pad thai is around this size at turns. And now we're ready of three ingredients to fry with pad thai. The next one, I cut one piece of lime. I cut chai lime separately for garnish. Soft in water but follow package instructions. Some band is different for sets. Prawns cut down back the prawn and remove back streaks. Now we fry. Add three tablespoon of oil. Normally you fry dry shim separately, but I fry at the beginning to flavor the oil. We fry dry prawn by the low heat. After prawn is starting cooked, and you can see the change to be a bit brown color, start crispy. We add tofu. After tofu, we add the prawns. When prawn starting cook, we add the shallot fried together until shallot is get more flavor and a little bit bulk color. You can smell the shallot flavor. Move all ingredients to one side and we add the egg. Fry the eggs and when the egg is starting cooked, we add the fried rice noodle. We fry together, make it well with our ingredients. If you have iron pan, you will get the smoke flavor from this method. Add pad thai sauce around 5 tablespoons and we fry as well. Add 3 tablespoons of water to help noodles cook and soft more easier. You can see when your noodle is cooked, and absorb all the salt. Now time to add ground peanuts. Mix well. And the last one is chai and bean sprout. Fry with high heat. Just before finish, pour a little bit of fish salt around pan to extract full flavor before we serve.
give your love Thai food and all we want to be able to make authentic Thai meal from the comfort of your own kitchens. Then, welcome to Thai Chef Food channels. My channel will take you on culinary journeys where I will personally teach you all you need to know to be able to prepare and enjoy authentic Thai cuisine for your family and friends. I hope you have all enjoyed this video and as always, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment so that I can make even better recipe and video for you in future. I'm looking forward to see you in our next episode. Come on,